Two rectangular lots are adjacent to each other, as shown in the diagram. In part A, write a function, a l of x, for the area of the large lot. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The length of the large rectangle is 4x, and the width is 2x minus 2. Multiply to get 8x squared minus 8x. This is an algebraic expression representing the area of the large rectangle. In part b, write a function, a s of x, for the area of the small lot. The area of a rectangle is length times width. The length of the small rectangle is 3x minus 3, and the width is x. Multiply to get 3x squared minus 3x. This is an algebraic expression representing the area of the small rectangle. Now we'll move on to part c. If the large rectangular lot is 10 square meters larger than the small lot, use a function operation to solve for x. We can use a subtraction function operation to solve this problem. The area of the large rectangle minus the area of the small rectangle is 10 square meters. Replace the area of the large rectangle with 8x squared minus 8x, and replace the area of the small rectangle with 3x squared minus 3x. Distribute negative 1 through the brackets. Collect like terms. Bring all terms to the left side of the equation. Factor out 5 from the left side of the equation. Divide both sides by 5. Factor the trinomial. Set each factor of the trinomial equal to 0. Solve for x. We get two results, x equals negative 1 and x equals 2. We need to reject x equals negative 1 since that would give us negative dimensions. The only possible value for x is positive 2. Now we'll move on to part d. Using a function operation, determine the total area of both lots. The total area of the two rectangles is found by adding together the areas of the individual rectangles. Replace the area of the large rectangle with 8x squared minus 8x, and replace the area of the small rectangle with 3x squared minus 3x. Collect like terms to get 11x squared minus 11x. Recall from part c that x equals 2. If we substitute 2 for x, we can get a numerical value for the total area. The area of both lots is 22 square meters. Now we'll move on to part E. Using a function operation, determine how many times bigger the large lot is than the small lot. We can divide the area of the large rectangle by the area of the small rectangle to find out how many times bigger the large rectangle is. Factor out 8 from the numerator and factor out 3 from the denominator. Cancel out the x squared minus x from the numerator and denominator to get 8 over 3. 
The large lot is 2.67 times larger than the small lot, 